The SCDSB is committed to supporting our students and staff in developing a greater understanding of the history, culture, and contributions of Indigenous peoples in our communities and across Canada. Hi, my name is Amy Grenier. I'm the Indigenous Grad Coach for Georgian Bay District Secondary School. This is a new role to our department and to our board. Part of the role is supporting students with their overall well-being, reducing barriers to success, exploring future goals and options, and connecting culture and identity to the students. I'm in Tony Nadizhnikov. Miss Amy is my Indigenous graduation coach. She comes into the class to help. I've known her for about six years. She is one of the best teachers I've had. Today we'll be visiting the Ojibwe class in Anishinaabe Moen and we'll meet Shelly who will be visiting with us from Barry Native Friendship Center. First thing I'll introduce myself. I need Bojo Kinawaya, Shelly Jenru Nadizhnikov, Sogin Dongjaba, Barry Dindamigwa. Much time in, so we're gonna get started. Anin Tony Nadizna Kaz, Penetang Machine, Donjaba, Penetang Machine, Dinda Negwa. Awesome. Good job, Tony. We want ants. Alright, let's all try saying that. We want ants. We want ants. We want ants. We want ants. Anin, my name is Colleen Moreau, and I'm an Indigenous student advisor. I'm at Admiral Collingwood and every week we sit in a circle and we learn so many new different things. The humble song that we're singing today, it, it talks about becoming one with the land and that we're all an equal, that we need to keep the land safe and pure and clean. Birchview Dudes, our grade four class, we'll be doing a Truth and Reconciliation Commission, 94 Calls to Action, Scavenger Hunt. I created the Scavenger Hunt for the students to learn about the 94 Calls to Action in a fun, engaging way. They'll have a riddle that they will read in the classroom. I help you when you are looking for a research on a topic. Knowledge is power. Which will take them to the location where they will find an envelope with their teacher's name on it. Inside that envelope is another 94 call to action, but there's also a riddle to take you to the next location. Once they get to that location, there's a 94 call to action. We call upon the federal government to acknowledge that Aboriginal rights include language rights. We do a smudge so that we can just be nice and clear-minded and just go in in a good way. What does Chimikwich mean? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. It's important for our students and our staff to learn about the 94 Calls to Action. Our students are our future. They're going to be our change makers. As a board, we will continue to empower our students and staff to learn, grow, and use their voices as we support their learning journey. Educators are encouraged to reach out to the Indigenous Education Department for further learning resources and information. Now Josh Morgan will be joining us to provide us with the latest updates on athletics across the SCDSB. Thanks Alexis. Let's open up with some elementary school athletics. On Thursday, October 28th, Worsley Elementary School held an end of season cross country fun run for all their junior and intermediate runners. The event hosted over 100 runners and was located on the beautiful shores of Georgian Bay. Moving to secondary athletics, where since we last spoke, we have crowned seven more SCAA champions. In AA Senior Boys Soccer, the Twin Lakes Thunderbirds beat the Nottawasaga Pines Timberwolves 4-2. Twin Lakes was also successful in their single slash double A Junior Girls Flag Football Final where they defeated the Maple Ridge Ravens 14-0. Let down on the flag football field, but jubilation on the soccer pitch as the Maple Ridge Ravens won their first SCAA championship. The Ravens moved on to GB Finals where they also won the first championship in school history. In Double A Senior Girls Basketball action, the Georgian Bay Bears defeated the Twin Lakes Thunderbirds 57 to 20, and will move on to the GB playoff round. Students, make sure to ask your teachers for more information about the winter sports programs. More champions to be crowned next time, but for now, thank you for watching the SCAA Rundown. Let's take a look around the region at what our schools have been up to this month. A presentation was held at Orchard Park Public School as they were awarded Platinum Eco School Certification. Chair of the SCDSB, Jody Lloyd, spoke on the incredible eco-friendly initiatives Orchard Park has implemented. 
Goodfellow Public School, Lake Simcoe Public School, and Killarney Beach Public School each received $8,554 from the Innisfil Tim Hortons Smile Cookie Campaign. The SCDSB signed an official partnership with Pine River Institute in support of mental health and well-being for students, families, and school communities. On November 11th, schools across the SCDSB recognized Remembrance Day. They created and shared a variety of beautiful pieces of artwork. Happy Diwali! During the first week of November, students and staff celebrated and learned about the culture and heritage of Diwali. Congratulations to our star features this month who have been recognized by their colleagues or community for doing something wonderful to support the students in our system. Thank you for all that you do. Thank you for tuning in to this month's SCDSB News. Missed an episode? Head to our YouTube channel to watch all our episodes this year.